What was that? Power core storage. There was another level down there. <laughs> Wait, are these dead? Yeah, they're not lighting up. Ah! Oh. Don't know what I did, but I did it. Power cores. On the invention of the power core. After numerous attempts, I finally found a way to intercept and contain the ambient energy of the ley lines in a kind of non-Aristotelian battery I've dubbed the power core. I admit it was difficult capturing an energy I could barely measure, much less interact with. Luckily, it seems that the porous stone of the Foundation's caverns possesses such conductive qualities. Using stone flakes and copper wires, my power cores collect significant power. My early prototypes collected too much, in fact, but I've since reinforced the container. We don't yet know the repercussions of tapping into this power field. As a precaution, these devices should not be taken outside of the house. Ideally, the Bureau should no longer need to rely on typical energy sources. It's my greatest feat of engineering yet. I've always had an interest in invention. I like the creativity that it allowed, set within the firm boundaries of logic and physics. Father never approved, calling it a mundane science. With that in mind, I dedicate this invention to Theodore Ash Sr. May he scowl in peace. Now we can get to tunnel access. But what about that middle level that we saw? How do we get there? That. I mean, maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's just window dressing or whatever. We have the ability to stop the elevator. Aha, uh -huh, it is only available, uh, visible from one direction. This one. Yes, and I see a thing moving up and down slightly, so I think if I'm at the right level, I will be able to get in. Almost. Wait, is that just always moving? Is that just part of the elevator? Okay, well, it obviously exists, and I looked around the corner and saw that there is a container. So you are meant to be able to get in there, but I just don't think this is the way. Perhaps you get there from underneath? That back entrance that we couldn't get into? similar to the service weapon. He claims there are more in the house. 
Though I don't see how he's so certain. He's been strange lately, talking about joining greater causes and frequently mentioning the pyramid. After pressing him, he finally described this pyramid to me. Inverted, black, mathematically perfect. Oddly enough, Adam and the other it had shown me numerous inverted triangles painted on the cave walls. Surely there's a connection. I don't see it yet. As far as occult symbols go, triangles are by no means rare. Flood, Levi, Kroll, they used that shape like it was going out of fashion. Standing on their base, triangles signify stability and strength. Inverted on their points, they represent conflict and stagnation. Of course, the orientation is just a matter of perspective. Looking at the pyramid from below gives you one, from above, another. Northmore says he looks up at the inverted pyramid. I have to wonder, is anyone standing over it, looking down? Perhaps all the members of the board are, like, former, the same sort of creature. You can get in there. There's a thing. But how? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, that worked. Hmm. Was there any indication that you could break that wall? Other than, of course, that there wasn't an obvious way in, so it's worth trying to shoot the wall, but, you know, like before, you've seen paintings in places where you can break through the wall. Was there something there? so high up and there's so more up there still oh oh no <laughs> oops well you know what this would be a great time to go back and speak with emily because apparently emily or uh, Jesse thinks Emily would want to see those old badges we found. I've looked through the docs we found in dimensional research. That slide projector is extremely powerful. You were right to shut it down. Uh, I don't see anything here about the tags, but these are new dialogue things. I think probably just from the base game? Not from the DLC, I think? I'm not sure. How do you feel about me taking over as director? You act like it just happened. You've been director since we first met, remember? I am still thrilled. Nothing's changed. Not for me. But the Bureau has changed. Trench and Darling are gone. Their knowledge, anything not written down, disappeared with them. They knew the Bureau better than anyone. They're the Bureau's past, Emily. We won't operate like they did. We'll learn from their mistakes. We'll be better than they ever were. We won't ever be like them. When the hiss got into my head, I saw some weird things. I think Darling even spoke to me. Does that make any sense to you? Empirically, no, but phantom voices as well as hallucinatory states are not uncommon here. And considering the forces that Dr. Darling was working with, 
he could have been transferred to a different plane of consciousness, physically or otherwise. And that doesn't upset you? Oh, very. And the fact that he hid those forces from me? It's infuriating. But Darling's dream was always to look beyond our reality. This time he may have taken a step too far, but as long as his consciousness can perceive his surroundings, I'm sure he's loving it. Maybe Darling was just trying to protect you from the darker side of his work. Fuck that. I'm not a child. Like, don't just assume I'm gonna consider something morally repugnant. Which it all was. Which it all was, of course. How was Dylan? The same. I, I can't detect any his activity, but his physiology has certainly been altered by it. And I can't tell if his brain activity is genuine or simply the aftermath of the hiss, like spasms. Dylan could wake up tomorrow for all I know. I really can't say. Then I just have to wait for him. That's fair. He waited a long time for me. But don't worry. We'll be monitoring him around the clock. If he wakes up, we'll be ready. I don't mean that in a hostile way, just... Well, you know. I hear you. My brother isn't exactly popular around here. I hope one day he'll have the chance to change that. So, there was a moment after Hedron died that I couldn't feel my powers. The hiss got into my head. Just for a moment. That explains the HRA outage. Before we knew what was happening, the hiss had us. They were in my head. I saw terrible things. I mean, I was about to go under forever when the hiss was pushed back. The HRAs had come back on. Dylan vanished afterwards and we fought off the hiss that came after him. So if Hedron's death knocked out the HRAs, that means there must be a new local source for them to relay. Which I'm guessing must be... Me. You. Hedron is dead, assuming that word even applies to a resonant-based life form. But whatever it awakened in you, the power you call Polaris, is still active. Or at least, that's what my instruments are telling me. I don't think we're ever going to understand all of this, and I'm okay with that. I'm just glad you're here with me. That's good to know. Thanks, Emily. I found Dylan attacking the astral plane and the board. What was he hoping to accomplish? Huh. Since they arrived, his have been corrupting objects of power which have an inherent link to the astral plane. Maybe their goal was to access the astral plane and the board itself. That still doesn't tell us why. His motives are a difficult thing to work out, but I have been digging through confidential files and noticed a strange gap in knowledge regarding the board. Looks like any data on them has either been deleted or was never gathered in the first place. Then maybe it's time someone looked into that. Maybe it is. Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. <laughs> that was cute. Emily. Not even as a joke. You know, one thing I didn't do since we completed the game is go talk to Dr. Underhill. Whoa. How the hell did that happen? A bunch of enemies spawned up above before I dropped down that shaft, but then, like, sounded like bullets came down here. What, are they ricochet all the way down the shaft? We don't want to have to come save you. Seriously. Do you need something? I assume you'll be staying with us until the mold is eradicated. Indeed. Until I find a permanent resolution to this pesky fungus business, I'll be here. Perhaps even beyond that, seeing as you are quite... understaffed at the moment. Though, I hardly have a say in my own comings or goings. 
Your oldest house won't open the exits until those hiss monstrosities are cleared out. Glad to have you along for the ride. Will the mold be under control anytime soon? We were barely containing it with weakly controlled burns. Just look at how it has spread after a few days of non-interference. It's beyond the threshold now. The floodgates are open. So that's a no. Americans. <laughs> with Darling gone, I'm putting Emily Pope in charge of the research sector. Are you okay with that? Perfectly. You have pulled Excalibur from the stone and now decree as you see fit, O oh Queen. What a true meritocracy we live in. Glad to hear it. I had a dream. Or something like one. Darling was there. He told me something, but I can't remember what. I think he's gone. Right. Well, he's never where one expects him to be, is he? Well, thank God. I can finally stop writing these tedious reports that I'm sure he never even took the time to glance at. If you speak to him again, can you tell him I... I hope he found what he was looking for. I'll try. I should be getting back to work. I'll see you later, Rhea. Dr. Underhill, if you please. Since I'm lacking corrupted samples, I'm gonna go kill a bunch of mold hosts and see if I can get some. So I can craft some more weapon mods and stuff. Well, kill a bunch and got one corrupted sample, so I can upgrade this to level six. Oh, and at level six, we don't need corrupted samples. Nice. Okay, I have the resources to make a lot of things now. Yeah, what do I want? Um, do I want a personal mod or a weapon mod? I guess weapon mods are what I need most right now. Hold on. None of my personal mods are level 6, but then again, only one of my weapon mods is level 6. Yeah, I could use both. I played that tape. Ignore the... laughing as they eat fungus and turn into a fungus creature. Yeah, I don't know, let's just... Explosive ammo refund. Ammo recovery on taking explosive damage, 35%. So, okay, thanks. Elemental source gain. Source gained per element pickup, plus 9. I don't really care about that. I need more remote thoughts for that. Let's refresh. It only costs 1,000 source to refresh. Oh, I'm not going to be able to make any weapon mods, am I? That are level six. Those all take remote thoughts. Where do I even get remote thoughts? I don't know. Well, I guess personal mods it is. Evade ammo refund. Ammo recovery on evade use 20%. Reload speed while shielded 59%. Eh. Launch health recovery. Health recovery on launch hits 18%. Hmm. That's interesting. That could be quite good, because I use launch a lot. Yeah, honestly, given how often I use launch, I think I'm going to replace my health boost. I don't want to get rid of these. And I know health plus 42% is really good, but I use launch so much. 18% of my health back on each launch hit. I think that's really good. Let's try it. We'll see how it ends. See how it ends up. 
We'll see how it turns out. That's the right way to say it. We'll see how it turns out. Um, I also replaced my plus 77% uh, damage on consecutive hits or kills with the pierce uh, with a rate of fire plus 25%. I want to see how that feels. So it allows me to shoot faster? It's pretty important. Does that actually feel faster? I guess? I don't know, I feel like I should feel it more at 25%. Back to this. to try. Maybe these are some of the earliest control points. Made by Ash when all the stuff was more crude and less well understood. This looks like a very large battle arena. Hmm. Whoa, they can kind of teleport. Oh, that is so satisfying. I'm coming. French and I worked our way up together. We made it through the tough cases, the bad days, the casualties. He was the epitome of a good agent. Smart, decisive, selfless. Then he picked up that damn gun. Becoming director is a formal process overseen by the board. Lots of ritual and mystery. After that, key staff provide detailed briefs on all classified matters, past and present. But with Faden, well, there's no protocol for field promotion. The girl smart, has a good head on her shoulders. I'm trusting her to handle the hiss upstairs, while I hold them off here. All oh, this shit with the nail, the board, I'm not sure she's ready. Besides, I work better alone.
fate. Not sure she's ready. I'm here, aren't I? I saved the Bureau once, and I'll do it again. You just came back here? Did I go the wrong way? I did, I think. Did I? I'm just confused now. I mean, it is just a loop, I think. So how do I complete the ritual in the warehouse? Oh, 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 the, uh, God, the doors looked, or the windows or whatever these are, looked so similar. The other one that we just saw was not this one. It's a new place to go to. Ooh, I missed this before in here. Human figures, handprints, and lots of eyes. Ash said they didn't like to work around the tower because they felt like something was always watching them. Should I go first? Is that an, that's probably an extra thing up there, I would assume. Well, well, let's go in here. I can always come back out here. Ah, it's this extra place. Yes. Meteor Hill Supplement. Note, per archival mandates 8A, this document has been edited to meet current administrative standar standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. Event location was in Sawyer County, Wisconsin. The retrieved material was subjected to Felstrom's Array, Configuration 74B, but the tests were halted as the matter began to physically elude the equipment. Attempts to constrain the elements were made, but under further stress it became vaporous. The researchers suffered corrosive injuries prior to their deaths. The child victims at Meteor Hill recounted the material enveloping them in a pleasant manner upon making contact, but when discovered, they were... and screaming. Bodily changes were perceived immediately, deformities, loss of pigment in the skin and hair, and mental symptoms surfaced in subsequent examinations, confusion, heightened aggression. The Department of Public Knowledge and Diversions gave statements claiming the incident was caused by debris from poorly made Russian satellites, which the public accepted with no complications. The children were sent to the Bureau's recuperation facility in to receive help away from society. It's those astral plane soldiers. Jeez. 
shit. Heal. Two ways go. Is this? That's not where I just came in, is it? <laughs> so pretty, like gentle fireworks coming out of it. Yeah, no, we came from over there. So this is yet another place that I can get to in the tower. Is that right? Yeah. Foundation etchings. My exploration of the foundation has resulted in yet another mystery. A fascinating series of etchings on large stone tablets. The tablets themselves are likely not native to the foundation, seeing as they're slabs of sedimentary stone, quite different from the cave's categorization-defying rock. Their placement and form are also too intentional to be naturally occurring. But who braved this place to carry them in, and for what purpose? I discovered a five-point macro-entanglement between the tablets, with the pillar at its center. These links seem to extend beyond our level of consciousness to some astral realm I can't detect. Is Northmore's board somehow tied to all this? The etchings on these tablets are similarly curious. They differ from the cave paintings in style and technique, so are clearly not of the same origin. Are they the visual narration of some event? Or do they indicate intent, a wish, a plan? They only seem to consist of a tree and the pillar, but the sizes of either are inconsistent. What does that signify? I'm missing key pieces of this puzzle and it's unlikely I'll ever find them. Ooh. I can continue over there to some higher thing, but what's over here? Oh, this might just lead to the higher thing. Yeah, it does. All the hiss nodes will lower hiss barriers. So to give a power, I need to get through the Hiss Barrier to do that.
Oh no. This thing only goes down? Oops. Oh! I could just throw something at the outside and it exploded it? Didn't expect that. So did that, like, unlock a higher level? Yes. Elevator machine room, is that where we are right now? Yep. Upper warehouse. Whoa. Probably destroy those. Oh, it's that. It's that tree thing again. This one looks a little bit different from the one in the foundation. The maintenance foundation that we've already been to. Okay, hold on. I want to get these things. Alright, this is gonna kinda suck. Sorry. Wait, did we, like, uh, break them by making the elevator go through them? Because I didn't see any appear. Maybe that's what that sound was. We were squishing them. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They only appear when you're going up? Like, what if I just go straight down? No, 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 they're still up here. Get it, did it. get this one. Uh, maybe let's try charge. This is going to hurt. What the hell? Are there any others? Why is this one so stubborn? Oh, 
Are there any others? <laughs> maybe that one's special or something? I don't know. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Like, maybe that one has to be done last. I don't know why it would be, but... Voyola. That means could be. Can be. Maybe. So I think it's just that last one, then. Why is this one like this? Right, well, I'm not giving up that easily, so I'm going to do something that is a bad idea and probably going to result in my death. I took along a friend! Suppose that was good and bad. Didn't result in my death, but also didn't work. Okay. Oh, you know what? They actually all came back. Okay. I was wasting my time. <laughs> oh. It was worth a shot. It was promising. Oh, we know what that means. Oh, Jesus. Three ability points. Not much that I can get now really matters. I guess when released, shield propels debris at nearby enemies would be... Nice. Wouldn't be bad. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return... That... <laughs>